ג' אנטיקנוש איס סוכו קיבל משמעון הצדיק הוא היה אומר אנטיקנוש איס סוכו רסיף רם רבי שמעון הצדיק and what did he say? he said don't be אנטי יוקה בדין משם שם תרע אבל מנהד לקבל פרס do not be like a servant who serves the master for the sake of receiving reward. Elo kavadim shemshin tarav shalom in a kabel kabel pras. You should serve Hashem not in condition to receive a reward. Vim or Hashemayim alechem. You should have the fear of heaven upon you. Meaning to say that a person should do the mitzvot not for oh what is this uh, this mitzvah give me? What is this? Is this gula for what? Oh, it's just gula for banim. Okay, I do it. Oh, it's gula for parnasa. Okay, I do it. Right? A guy I told him come do berkat levana. Rabbi, I gotta go. I have no time. All of a sudden, no, I told him, Zgulal Parnasa. Oh, yeah? Afterwards, he asked me, Rabbi, if I say two times, it's a bigger Zgulal Parnasa if I say two times? The person has to know, you shouldn't be like that. You're only doing the mitzvot for the sake of the reward. Rather, all the mitzvot you treat equal, and all the mitzvot you do, because the Kaddish Baruch Hu, Avinu Shabbat Shalmai, my Father in Heaven, commanded us in it. So therefore, a person has to know that you get a deeper and better relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu when you do it for His sake. A person should not look at his relationship with Hashem like Amazon Prime. I sign up for Amazon Prime, I pay them the money, and then they give me two-day delivery. And then he goes to Hashem the same way. Hashem, I prayed mincha. Hashem, I went to the lecture. Hashem, I did this mitzvah, I get tzedakah. Where's my refuah shlema? Where's my uh, parnasah tova? Where's my atlacha and, and this and that and that? Where's my two-day delivery? I gave you what you need. I, gave, I paid my membership. Give me my delivery for my goods. The person thinks that Hashem is like a business. You do his mitzvot, he gives you. You rub him, he rubs you. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. It's a relationship. It's I do it because I care for you, and you do it because you care for me. The person does it because I want to do it for the sake of Hashem himself, not for what he's going to give me. The Gemara says, Love that is dependent on a matter, dependent on an item. Once the, the item goes away, the love goes away. A person was very close to Hashem when he was poor. He'd come every day, he would learn. He says, Hashem, please give me part of All of a sudden, he became a millionaire. So... We don't see him anymore. Gone. He doesn't come anymore. He's busy partying. He's busy buying. He's busy doing. Why? Because his love of Hashem was dependent on money. He needed money from Hashem. He got what I wanted. So he's out. So the person has to make sure not to be like that. Rather, serve a Baruch Hu for the sake of love, not the sake of reward. And then you should always have fear of heaven upon you. And even when you serve Hashem out of love, you have to also have fear of heaven. Why? Because sometimes you don't have the love for Hashem. Sometimes you feel like, Rabbi, today I don't feel, I'm not in the mood. It's like, I don't want to do anything. But you always have to have fear of Hashem. And you say, listen, but I got, got to suffer because I don't do mitzvot. I'm going to suffer if I do this sin. It's going to be, Hashem's going to get upset at me. So that will always hold you. Even when you don't have love one day, it will always hold you the fear of heaven. Yossi ben Yo'ezer, 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 the man of Tzreda, and Yossi ben Yo'ezer, who was from Yerushalayim, they accepted from Yatignush Yisuchot. Yosef ben Yezir said to Omer, he says, Your house should be a meeting place for the sages. You should have your place open, your house open, for to have the chamim in your house. That way, at least, the wise men should discuss, even though you don't understand everything they say. But at least, you'll get something, you'll receive something. This is you host rabbis and have tamid chamim in your house. You'll get, like the man who goes to the perfume shop, he leaves the perfume shop smelling good, even though he didn't put on perfume. But the air, the air itself is perfumed and it smells nice. So to the one who has chachamim in his house, he will receive the the or the perfume of Torah. And says he says and it continues. You should be close to the dust of their feet. They used to sit that the rabbis would sit on the benches and the students would sit on the floor. So that means they would try to be close to the rabbis, even to be by the dust of his feet, by the sit next to his feet as much as you can. You keep to be close to the rabbis. You should, as the pasuk says, that you have to be devakta by Hashem. You have to go and attach yourself to Hashem, cleave to Hashem. How do you cleave to Hashem? Hashem is not physical. So the Gemara, you should cleave to Hashem by the people who are close to Hashem and who are those. They should be your friends. Who should be your friends? Who should people you speak to? Who should people advise with? Who should people you should be next to and learn from and be with? As the Gemara says. The, the shimush is yugadol miter milimuda. Serving and being around rabbis is greater than learning Torah. Why? Because you see the Torah alive. You see how he behaves. You see how he acts. You see how he talks. You look, he doesn't say curse words. Look how he talks. He says very gentle. Look how he eats. He, look, look, look how he does it. Mitzvot. Look how he does it with yirat shamayim. He does it with fervor. It, all these things affects you. So therefore, you should have hamim in your house, and you should stick very close to them. You should drink their words thirstily. A person who's thirsty, you ask him, you want to drink coke? He said, of course. He doesn't tell you you want to drink coke and he's thirsty. He said, no, I don't want to drink. You have something else? Uh, that means you're not really thirsty. You care what you want to drink already? That means you're not really thirsty. So how should you learn to live Torah? He said, Rabbi, hey, you're teaching Musa. I want Gemara. Oh, you teach Gemara. I want Alakha. Oh, you teach Alakha. I want Zohar. I want Kabbalah. It's not, I don't want to, I don't, I'd rather not listen. Listen, sorry, I got to go. It's not for me, the topic. A person should learn from the Chacham 
thirstily. Whatever he's teaching, you should learn. If you're really thirsty for Torah, you're going to learn whatever he's teaching. Yes, you can make suggestions. Yes, you could say, the says, a person only studies what his heart desires. But once he's already teaching, once he's saying something, you shouldn't know what happens during the shiur. People take out a phone. And they're reading the phone until the rabbi says something exciting. When a person is in the shiur, he's, okay, I'm going to read Tehillim in the shiur until the rabbi says something exciting. And then I'll pause and listen to what he says. Or why the guy falls asleep in the shiur? He's like sleeping in front of the rabbi. Right? So what happens? You see, you see that he didn't give respect to the rabbi. He's not drinking his word thirstily. It should be that everything he's saying, he should pay attention to it. If not, so then it says the, says the Pekah Avod, it's not... Come to the rabbi, and you're not going to really grow like this. When it comes to acquiring Torah knowledge, a person has to try to get as much as he can, have a thirst for knowledge. Even with Torah, simplest things the rabbi is saying, a person has to find pleasure in that. Just like the simple explanation to the most brilliant.